What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I've got a collection of 10 brand new top 10 iOS 8.4 Cydia tweaks. So these are all new and they've all been updated for iOS 8.4, so they're compatible with all devices running the latest 8.4 and 8.3 jailbreaks. So these are actually pretty nice, probably the most diverse I've seen in a while, and the iOS 8.4 jailbreak is actually opening up a whole bunch of new doors that haven't been previously opened with older jailbreaks, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a little bit. So of course for this video, you guys will either need to be jailbroken on iOS 8.4 or iOS 8.3. You can find the video for that right there. Go ahead and click on that. And of course you guys will need the full tweak list, all the sources necessary for this video. You can find all of that down there. So guys, these are the latest and greatest top 10 Cydia tweaks for iOS 8.4. And I really do hope you guys enjoy these. Now there have already been several Cydia tweaks inspired by the Apple Watch Eternum Watch Board. Now here's another. It's called the Watch Notifications and what it does is it brings an Apple Watch inspired uh, notification on your lock screen to uh, iOS 8.4. So it looks just like this and it acts just like a regular notification would. You can slide it this way for a reply. You can slide it that way to go ahead and open it up and you're going to be inside of that application. So this applies to every single application, not just messages. And there are just a couple configurations inside of settings, but it looks really clean. Uh, I mean, it works well. I like it better than the stock one. It's called watch notifications for 8.4. And inside you just get two settings. So one to enable it and one to enable that drop shadow on underneath them. So super cool. Now, while we're on the topic of notifications, here is power banners. So power banners pretty much just allows you to get an unobtrusive alert when your power is dropping low. For example, when you get a 20% low power alert, you can actually customize what it says and where it appears. So instead of just getting a huge block right here, you can put it up here into the notification center and it'll just drop down. And it'll tell you unobtrusively with what you're doing that your battery is low. So you can actually change what the notification says when your battery is low you can put a custom message in here saying hey charge your battery uh, you can go ahead and save it in there so really simple tweak pretty much it hides your notification for low battery up here just like a regular notification so it doesn't intrude on what you're doing now here's vlox 2 it's just been updated for 8.4 and it's quite an extensive application in a nutshell what it does is it pretty much gives you a preview of an application limited functionality before actually opening the application so you can set it to activate several ways but i've got mine to a slide up up. For example, here's the weather. You know, it gives you a little bit of a preview of that application before jumping into it and opening it up. Maybe you don't want to open it up all the way, and it's for every single application. Now, not every application has a dedicated use for it. You know, some have a custom use just like this, so you can go ahead and you know explore maps in here. But some are just useful for notifications. So when you slide up, you'll just be able to see notifications for that application because a custom you know function hasn't been built for it. For messages, right here, pretty much just see your notifications for photos you just get a quick little preview of uh, photos in here camera you actually get a built-in uh camera right here really cool and this applies for many areas the one in particular i like the calculator really well made right there and if you go into settings and slide up you can get a reboot respring and lock device toggle that is really cool very nice hidden feature in there so pretty much just a sneak peek of applications most of them do have a custom setting in here like you can create uh, notes right here real quick and uh, really cool guys and the music player over here has a little mini player if you've got songs playing you know it's pretty extensive but guys definitely check it out vlox 2 you know little previews for applications now with ios 8.4 we all know apple did reinvigorate the music application we got a whole bunch of new features a new look and i actually want to show you a couple music application tweaks so first off here's musai so it actually allows you to customize all of the settings inside of the music application well not all of them but it allows you to remove a lot of the fluff you don't need. So let me go ahead and show you the settings. Pretty much you can hide things inside of here that you don't need. So say I don't want the radio tab, I don't want to see the connect uh, tab. Let's go ahead and respring. And now in the music application you will not see a connect tab or radio tab. So it removes that amount of categories you need down here making it easier to go ahead and browse through everything. And you guys can actually make the music application in here a lot more suited towards your needs. And this is actually true iRadio built into here as well so you can 
can get unlimited radio skips if you so choose. So that's a nice option to have in here as well. So overall, I definitely would recommend an absolutely free tweak that allows you to supercharge and customize your music application for 8.4. Now, Music Rotate is a new music app tweak that pretty much does exactly what it means. It just rotates your music application. You know, basically gives it a horizontal option. So now you can scroll through your music, you know, look at the mini player in a horizontal and it is a little bit buggy, but it does work for the most part in here when you actually rotate, this is what it's gonna look like, but it is being worked on at the moment. And I could see some potential with this tweak, but for now you can use it in all areas of the music application. So super cool. The fact that you can do this, I just don't like that, you know, every single time you swap through categories, in some cases, yeah, it'll do this. So hopefully the developer does work on this, but I do see some potential here for a very nice, well-made tweak. Definitely check it out. It's called Music Rotate. Now here's a Sfela 2, and it's a little hard to pronounce. So what it does is it basically adds security to individual applications, and it looks fabulous while doing it. So it's very similar to a Bio Lockdown or Bio Protect, but it's a little bit different. It's got a little bit of a different style to it. So for example, I locked down a couple applications. I locked down my Passbook app, and now it'll put the Touch ID logo right onto the application. And uh, it's also on photos, it's a little bit more visible here. And now when you unlock it with your Touch ID, there you go, it'll just jump right in. It'll give you a nice, neat little animation to do so. So another thing I like is that about this tweak, when you actually go in the app switcher, it will be grayed out. You can make it black too. So there are some settings in here. You know, here's where you secure your applications. You can uh, secure all of them if you so choose. And there's some pass code options in here as well. So quite an extensive little tweak, definitely a really good replacement to BioProtect and it looks really great as well. Now here's the best tweak of this entire video. It's called Murmur. And what it is, is it's multi-pane multitasking. It's not like reach out for just two, it's completely customizable. It's almost like Windows OS uh, Windows as it is very user-friendly. So here's how it works. Let's say I'm in messages and I wanna reduce this and open up another application, run two applications at the same time. So all you need to do is slide down from the very left and now you've got this window right here. Drag it around with this gray bar over here. If you wanna resize it, click on the gray bar and over here you can either pinch to zoom or enhance it like this, like this and go full screen. So pretty much just slide from the corner and uh, drag it on the gray bar. And what's really cool about it is how well it actually works. So. So I wanna move this guy over here and I'm gonna be checking out weather over here. So you can open up as many as you'd like. Uh, it works best with up to four, don't go beyond that. So uh, I wanna go ahead and resize this. So super cool guys, this is true multitasking on iOS. Over here, there's this easy button to go ahead and put the application into a horizontal mode. So great, great tweak. This is nothing original, there's Multify, but Multify doesn't work yet on iOS 8.4 and uh, you can actually put it over here if you'd like. So really interesting guys for sure. Definitely check this guy out. It's great for multitasking and especially makes sense on the iPhone 6 Plus. Now Protein has just been updated for iOS 8.4 and what it does is it gives you full control over your status bar. So the status bar, you can organize, reorganize everything, every toggle as you'd like. So for example, say I wanna put the battery icon into the center. So if I drag this over here, it appears in the center. I could put my time completely on the other side. So let me grab this guy, put it all the way on the right. Completely customize the arrangement of your status bar and add toggles to applications that they don't even belong to. So in app notifications, you can actually choose to make custom toggles that you can actually even open up and it'll open up inside of that application. So it is pretty cool, but it needs some work at the moment. I can only get the reorganization to work. It's a bit buggy, but it will get better with time, of course, but it's great that you can reorganize your status bar, make it look just how you'd like. Now here's a really cool tweak that's only possible with this latest version of Cydium. So as you guys all know, Cydia in its latest version can now be modified by tweaks because it doesn't run on the substrate, it runs on a separate entity. Cydia can itself be modified now. That was previously not possible. So the first tweak I'm gonna show you, and it's really cool, is the ability to easily, and I recommend this for anyone that installs a lot of tweaks, to easily remove or uh, customize what you do with a tweak. So slide over over and you get these three options. You can remove it, reinstall it, or add it to the queue. So it's really cool because you don't have to go into the tweak for every single one in order to do this. So you just slide over and you can add it to a queue and keep doing that for all the other ones. Really cool. I mean, it saves a lot of time, it's functional, and it definitely adds something to Cydia that didn't exist before. All right, so lastly, here's Night Mode 8. So Night Mode 8 is a cheap replacement to Eclipse 2, and it actually works a little bit better. It looks better as well. And in this latest release of Night Mode, Cydia is 
supported. So that means if you jump into Cydia, it will actually have a dark theme to it as well, which is really cool. I mean, that hasn't previously been possible, but now it is with this latest version of Cydia. So Night Mode in itself is very similar to Eclipse 2. You know, shield your eyes from the bright theme in iOS as it is right now, especially in the dark. You know, when your screen brightness is set down all the way, it still can be too bright. And Night Mode helps alleviate that. So it's system wide, and you can actually customize individual applications to your liking. So let me go ahead and show you guys in here. You can go to per application settings, and you can actually choose each individual application in here, which one you don't want to see this uh, theme on. So overall, definitely something I would recommend. And now it is available in Cydia as well. All right, so guys, that's just about it. Those are the next top 10 iOS 8.4 and 8.3 Cydia tweaks. This latest collection has actually been really good. Now, there's a lot of work to be made in terms of stability. I've noticed that on 8.4 and 8.3, it really hasn't been great. There's been a lot of crashing. Uh, not a lot of things have been optimized. So hopefully with time, things do get better. But for now, there are several new tweaks coming and I'm really excited about those as well. Of course, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm always sharing new tweaks and I'm gonna have huge lists in the future for you guys. I'm just waiting for all my old favorite tweaks to get updated. Anyways, enjoy this latest collection of Cydia tweaks in your iOS 8.4 jailbreak. Have a great day, guys. Peace.